August 27th, 2008, 173 days before the end of analog television. From Itasca, Illinois, hi, I'm Shelley Palmer. First up, T-Mobile's G1 will be the first phone packaged with Google's Android operating system. Details are still scarce, but the first phone from the Open Handset Alliance is expected to look like a sidekick, feature a roll ball, full keyboard, and an open source application store. When? Maybe as soon as next month. Speaking of new phones, Apple's 3G iPhone has outsold its predecessor. Despite 3G issues and class action lawsuits looming and all kinds of issues, Apple has managed to sell 6 million 3G iPhones worldwide in just seven weeks. Comparatively, it took the first generation iPhone nearly a year to sell 6 million units internationally. The jobs magic continues. And speaking of Apple, practically everyone who's not Apple is banding together to launch Open Market. The goal of the initiative is to create a world of interoperable devices and a common retail platform. It's an iTunes store killer. First proposed by Sony Pictures about a year ago, Open Market is now supported by Fox, Paramount, Universal, and Time Warner on the content side, and Amazon, Target, Walmart, MovieLink, CinemaNow, and Comcast on the retail side. Consumers will love this, but it is way harder to do than it sounds. We'll keep you posted. According to Mark Zuckerberg's status, Facebook now has 100 million users. While MySpace supposedly hit 100 million users two years ago, the number was marred by inactive accounts. Facebook, on the other hand, has been able to amass a loyal and active user network, which they hope to monetize as soon as they figure out how. Research group Bango believes that by the end of the month, the U.S. will surpass the U.K. in mobile web usage. Strange stat? Yeah, only because they don't use PCs the way we do. Visit ShellyPalmer.com to learn more about it and for news you can use about technology, media, and entertainment. From Itasca, Illinois, for Media Bytes, I'm Shelley Palmer.